Uh, Minister, deplorable conditions just don't appear overnight. The crisis and corrections may have been avoided if government officials simply listened to the pleas for help coming from the front lines. When I raised the question about safety issues at the Toronto South Detention Centre, staff were immediately issued a warning memo on confidentiality. And Speaker, that's unacceptable. Yeah. Safety concerns raised by frontline staff throughout Ontario must be welcomed and encouraged. Instead, we have a government that has tried unsuccessfully to muzzle correctional staff. So, Speaker, my question is simply this. Will the minister show leadership and apologize on behalf of his ministry for trying to, to silence correctional staff who tried desperately to get this question. government to address safety concerns. Uh, speaker, uh, as I said earlier, we, we are very much interested in, in developing solutions together. And I sincerely, Speaker, I sincerely ask the member opposite, I know he, he intends well, uh, to provide solutions. Let's work together uh, to deal with this very complex problem uh, in a manner that brings everybody together. If, uh, speaker, his solution is, as, he, as his party has suggested in the past, to privatize jails. I, we absolutely reject that notion, Speaker. That is not where we're going to go. We need to work together to, uh, along with our correctional workers to find meaningful uh, ways not only to reduce spe uh, speaker uh, overcrowding in our jails by reforming the bail system Party and the federal government has a very important role to play, but also in making sure that we've got appropriate support Order. within our correctional institutions, but in also in our community set, uh, setting by, by benefiting from Answer. the expertise of our probation and parole officers so that we can ensure better reintegration. Speaker, we welcome ideas and solutions. Let's Thank work you. together and make it happen. Thank you. Question.